Shark fans, welcome back to your uh, favorite Islander. Very brief update, as you can tell by the title of the video. Daily Mirror have reported today, killer great white shark feared to be patrolling the UK coastline after an extremely rare bite mark on a porpoise turned up. I'll put the location here. Now, whether this is an extremely rare bite mark, I've studied quite a lot of bite marks and some of them just aren't bite marks. They just, it's fairly decomposed and every crustacean in the sea's had a crack at it. To be fair, this looks fairly fresh, but what I will say, it's in a strange place. It's it's on the top of the animal. Normally we see sharks attack from the bottom, unless I guess it's spinning in the water at the time. Who knows? It might be trying to evade the shark. So Mally Rice, a shark expert according to the news report. I don't know him. Uh, I, I've never heard of him. Mally, if you watch my videos, please comment below. The 46-year-old says if you look closely uh, due to the crescent-shaped marks on the uh, porpoise, it could only have been caused by a shark. Uh, a large shark. He does go on to say that he does believe that it could have been uh, a blue shark or a poor beagle shark. For those who don't know, poor beagles are the closest relative to great white sharks and we do have them in our waters. In fact, recently the largest one ever in British waters was, was captured and released. But what shark I think he's probably forgotten to mention there is the mako shark. We have the short fin Atlantic mako, which by all means carries out quite a lot of attacks like this. I'll cover this in a future video. A three meter Mako uh, who took uh, someone's tope fish as they were reeling in off a kayak, bit it in half. I'm sure that gave the, uh, the kayaker a bit of a scare. What do you guys think? Let me put the picture up here now, have a little look. Obviously, um, looking at the image now, I'm gonna look at it on my phone. Yeah, it's on, the, it's on the top of the creature. It's dorsal fin, you know, unusual place, but Jagged edge it is crescent shaped. I do believe this is probably being caused by a shark. But comment below what you guys think, of course. Uh, it's particularly interesting for me because the recent shark sighting in uh, the Bay of Biscay, which is 400 nautical miles away, was a large five meter great white shark. A lot of you have said uh, that that's not a great white shark. Um, this was confirmed great white shark. There's, there's no question. Uh, so, not far away. Could it have made its way up here? Possibly uh, in the next shark video, I do cover the water temperatures and food sources. And I tell you now, it's no shocker. Our, our conditions here are optimal for great white sharks. Uh, some exciting news. I've been talking to quite a lot of marine biologists uh, through email about the expedition made up for that. And uh, I've also been talking to somebody who has been bitten by a great white shark. Uh, and I'm really quite excited to see where that goes, respectfully, obviously. Yesterday on the Isle of Man, where I live, there was a large thresher shark pulled up uh, by a lobster fisherman. I mean, this thing's huge. Unfortunately, it was dead at the time. You know, the lobster fisherman did say he tried to release it. It just, there was no activity. So we've got a lot going on shark-wise. I mean, we always have. It's just, we're reporting on it a little bit more. So enough waffle. Thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for future updates. Cheers.